So I'm gonna try to learn how to drive the ATV. I'm a little bit nervous. What? Where's the brake? Okay. Got it, you got it. Yeah. So Papa is taking all of our family on a faith walk. So we're having a breakfast casserole this morning, Greek yogurt and granola. We've been taking turns as siblings of who's doing each meal. And that's a really enjoyable part because everyone's bringing their A game. I am making a smoothie this morning, which I'm so excited about because my sister and my mom recommended that I put an avocado in it, and I'm excited to try it. Let's see how it turns out. Um, is there like an on button? On the back. Yep. On the back. <laughs> right back there. Okay. So first I have to turn it on. <laughs> Well, my smoothie looks, you know, like a weird color of green, but it's really good. So I'm enjoying it out here on the front porch. You're going to join me, Lisey? Mm -hmm. How are you today? Good. Good. What are you wanting to do next? I'll beat the smoothie. Oh, I thought you wanted an ATV ride. And the ATV ride. <laughs> but now you want some smoothie, huh? Mm -hmm. How's the ride going? Good. He's so fun to ride with. He giggles the entire time, especially when you accelerate. <laughs> Ready? ATV. Is it hard? No, not really. So what does it feel like to ride an ATV? I feel good, like I can actually drive. You riding with Uncle Jimmy? Yeah. All right, have fun. You guys are doing it. Yeah. She's awesome. And I know how to drive. Oh, you do? She's been driving a little bit. So my parents had a great idea and they labeled all these water bottles for us to use and to refill with this big jug while we're here. And it's working out really, really well. The only problem we're having is that Laura can't read. And so Laura just keeps grabbing any water bottle and drinking out of it. And then somebody's like, wait, that one's not yours. And anyway, it's cute. Can you show us your bottle? Look, it's right here. Let's see it. Which one does it say? Jeremy and I are going to go on a little couple's ATV ride. Should be Let's fun. Do it. Bye, Lizzie. Question of the day. Do you like to ride ATVs and motorcycles or do you not? Jeremy obviously loves it. Do you prefer ATVs or motorcycles? ATVs I'm more used to and I feel safer on, but the motorcycles are fun. Yeah. I don't ride motorcycles and I like ATVs, but I do get a little bit nervous on them. So I'm like holding on tight to Jeremy and saying, I'm a little bit slower. So <laughs> anyway, let us know in the poll. Sure. Laura's all dirty from playing in the sand. But we wanted to let her come out, so we're putting her between Jeremy and I and just driving around on the driveway, but she's really liking it so far. Can I take your helmet off? Oh, well, sure, I'll take my helmet off. Can you take my helmet off? Yeah. It is warm out here at the cabin today. There's supposed to be record-breaking highs, so we're going to have a really hot day. So Mike and Sam are hard at work inventing an air conditioning unit. They've got a fan and a really wet towel. It's a swamp cooler. Basically, it's a homemade swamp cooler. We're looking for more rats. It actually does freeze. It well, does it does make breeze. a breeze, but it's a cold breeze, huh? Yeah, why is it colder? Do you see, Caleb? It's because there's a fan that's going through moisture, and so then it feels colder. It's evaporative cooling. I love you nerds. All right, well, this is so far the third design of the Swamp Cooler, but I think each design keeps getting better and better. I'm so impressed with Sam and Michael for setting this up. Ready? Kendra's great grandpa, they called Pa, he built a lot of things with his hands and did a lot of woodwork. And so Kendra's parents showed our kids, the grandkids, a picture of Pa and showed some of the things that he made out of wood. And they actually did an activity where the kids got to make something out of wood that Pa made, a little pencil holder. And so they all got to make their own design and create this pencil holder. There's your heart. She wanted a heart design. Mm -hmm. I love how being here at the cabin and this activity is helping connect our kids with their 
ancestors and to kind of connect the generations. They can know something about their great great grandfather and even build something and have something to remember that that they will have in their home. So my brother and I share something in common in that we absolutely hate the heat. Yes. And so I saw something at the store the other day and I just reminded me of him. Here you go. <laughs> to help you with the heat. A necklace fan? It's a necklace fan. <laughs> it's the new stylish accessory. <laughs> they didn't have a bow tie fan. <laughs> it blows. I'll have a very cool underneck. It'll be delightful. I figured we could share it. We could take it. You're great. Thanks for thinking of me. <laughs> As I'm currently sweating, sweating and moist. Yeah, this will help prevent that. It's going. The beard is getting uh, blown. So much less moist. <laughs> Are you sure? Somebody actually could, invented could share? this. Oh, that is nice. It's like personal air conditioning. There you go. She likes the box, though. She does. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> it's time for the annual treasure hunt. Hey, what's it say? Right here. We found it. He's going. Where do you think the old tree swing is? Is it under the old tree swing? Under the old Parker. Where what could wait, it wait. be? Wait, what could be under? <laughs> oh, under there! You got it! Nice job, guys. Candy. Woo! Candy. You got the treasure. How's your treasure? Good. Good. You got the treasure. Whoa, there you Woo! go. Yes. You struggled. <laughs> I'm thinking Caleb will sleep well tonight. I'm good. I'm good. You ran hard. That was so easy. <laughs> There's everybody else. They're eating their candy. Enjoying the spoils of the treasure hunt. Michael photographing. And I'm staying so cool. <laughs> All right, so we're in charge of dinner tonight. We chose tacos slash taco salad, whichever people prefer. So we've got loads of taco meat and black beans right there. We've got flour tortillas, hard shell tacos, tortilla chips, some yummy salad. Over here, we've got the toppings. All right, poll question for the day. Do you prefer soft shell tacos or hard shell tacos? Let us know. Dinner is ready. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Clean the, the eggs and the You keeping it clean? Yeah. A little bit like a human. When you can hurt yourself when you're young. So I'm going to try to learn how to drive the ATV. I'm a little bit nervous. And Tiffany, Tiffany is her is sensei. Teach me. Yes. Go get him. Hi, what does hey. this thing do? It's a climb on, climb on first. <laughs> do not push the throttle. You can drive a car, you can do this. I can totally do this. Okay. Oh, where's the brake? You can go forwards now. So turn it tight. See you later. Turn it tight. You got it. You got it. We're going to have to put this in fast forward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, you got it. Yeah. This is an automatic, everybody. It's not a clutch. <laughs> She's got it. Watch out for trees. Hi. She did awesome. Um, that was really fun. Once I got a hang of it, it was not hard at all. Good job. The views out there, like the time of night that we're at, like it was just gorgeous with the sunset, gorgeous sunset and everything. With the clouds and, and the trees. Yeah. And it's, it's fun, fun to see all the other little cabins. So Papa is taking all of our family on a faith walk. And it's just a chance to talk about some of the things that are most important to us with our faith. Reading scriptures, saying prayers, and whatever else Papa has in store for us. The kids are particularly excited about this activity because they all have flashlights. Follow me. Okay, guess what? We made it. Here is what you So when life gets dark and dreary, don't forget to pray. 
Well, the Faith Walk was really inspirational. It was really touching and uh, a good bonding experience as a family. Jay, how's that? It's time for a water fight.